going on guys? I'm Tim the Great here, and today I have a uh, review of the Beats by Dre Solo HD, uh, I got it on black. So, I know I've done reviews of these before, like the Solo HDs, but I think uh, this time I can improve a little bit on those, uh, because last time they weren't so great. But, uh, anyway, I have a very opinionated view on these, so I definitely think you guys should check it, uh, should stay, stick around for the rest of it. But, anyways, let's just get right on into it, and let's start off with the unboxing. So, right here, this, as you guys can see, it's like a plastic covering, and that was loud. I'm going to open this up. Uh, this is my second pair of these. Um, I got the red ones, and I just got these because I like how they look and stuff. And so, there's the Beats box. Beat box. It's funny. And then, <laughs> as you guys can see, this magnetic little thing right here. Just open it right up. And that's the Beats case right there. But first, I'm going to get into this part. As you guys can see, it is it opens right up here. And it says, turn it up, Lady Wearing Beats Pros. And I believe this has other Beats products in it. Um, so, yeah. Um, here is the uh, quick start and guy and warranty thing and some other stuff uh, some instructional things and here's a cleaning cloth that I'll definitely be using and um, the control talk L connector uh, the other one is in the uh, thing over there uh, the case <laughs> but um, anyway I'm just gonna put these back where they came and we'll move on to the main attraction, which, in fact, is the beats themselves. So, as you guys can see, it's just a regular beats, uh, beats solo uh, case. This is a solo HD, by the way. I don't know if I said that or not. And at first open, here we go. These look absolutely sick. Um... Bag. And these look really cool, guys. Um, there it is, right there. And those are the Beats by Dre Solo HDs. And as you guys can see, it's got some silver with a very glossy, glossy black, and some earpieces right there. Leather with a little uh, spacer that's. Uh, Test it like it's uh, the beats, like red color, you know what I mean? The uh, headphone jack, and we're gonna open up the case. Which, oh, it looks like they updated the cases, that's really nice. Um, it looks like it feels like a mesh kind of material in there, I don't know really what to call it, but here's the other cable without the control talk, and these should fold up. Like so, and fit right in here. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm Tim the Great, signing out. And thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to whatever channel I decide to post this on. And that's pretty much it, guys. See. Ya. So when you buy the Beats by Dr. Dre uh, Solo HDs, you get a couple things uh, that come extra along with the headphones. The first thing that I uh, think is most important, anyway, is the uh, case. So the case, as you guys can see, has the Beats logo uh, right in front, Beats by Dr. Dre right there. And it also has this carry-on strap, as like uh, like you guys can see here. It's like a shiny, shiny material, uh, like shiny... Uh, fabric material that you find like some backpacks or whatever. It's got the same material on the inside here. Uh, it used to have some felt material, but they obviously upgraded that. It has an extra wire, and it had it came it came with a regular wire, which as you guys can see here, had uh, it has control talk on it, which has a plus button, a minus button, which both control your volume up and down. And it has this little silver button, which if you tap it once, it pauses your music, and if you tap it twice, it skips your song. And it also came comes with this monster cleaning cloth. Uh, it's called so it's just the monster cleaning cloth. And 
it's a microfiber cloth and this tag is very unfortunate that it's there um, I don't really like it so I would cut it off right after this and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it for X. The next thing I'm going to delve into is the design of the Beats by Dre Solo HDs uh, as you guys can see here uh, it has the Beats logo uh, on the side and uh, up here it has the Beats by Dre uh, text as you guys can see there it has a monster symbol and another monster insignia there. I mean, the insignia is here and the uh, text is here. Um, on the inside, it has a left and it has a right uh, mark in there. I wonder if you guys can see that, but I think you can. Um, it has the uh, faux leather ear cups. Uh, not the nicest stuff, but it's still uh, pretty comfortable. Uh, it has uh, all these, uh, as you guys can see, adjust to your ear. Like so, uh, the design overall is like plastic, and these, uh, as you guys can see, bend in. It is a plastic design, so it's not the greatest of durability, but it's still okay for the uh, for this product, I guess. Uh, on the inside, as you guys can, uh, you can't see really. Uh, it's like a felty material in there, and if you un if you open these a little bit, as you guys can see here, it is solid metal. And if you open this up a little bit, you can see the wires running through there. And these are actually pretty easy to open and close, which I don't like. I like them stiff, uh, but anyway, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> and uh, uh, he, here is the, uh, it's it's like the head cup, and it is, le uh, it is a, like a rubbery material. Your finger doesn't go in that much. Uh, it's kind of stiff, and... Uh, I don't really like the feel of that, but it's still pretty comfortable regardless. And uh, you see, so that's pretty much it. So you guys are probably wondering why now, um, because of my mix review, uh, what should I buy these? And my answer to that is maybe. And I know that sounds a little vague, but uh, what I what I think is that if, it depends on the type of music that you listen to. If you like listening to hip hop or rap or like R and B or stuff like that, you're definitely gonna want to pick a pair of these up because they have really good qualities uh, that suit R and B and rap and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, and uh, but if you're listening to rock uh, that has a lot of lows in it, so I would not recommend picking these up. It does get a little distorted and muddy, and uh, yeah. So uh, these retail for about a hundred, like 180 to about 220 dollars, depending on what site you get them on. I'll put a link to the in the description of the lowest price I can find. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, just at least check it out, guys. Um, there are other uh, products in this line that I'm getting soon, as you guys know. I'm, um, I have the tours right now, so uh, yeah, and. Uh, the, the Beats uh, line is pretty nice, and uh, I like I do like their products quite a bit, uh, but I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with these because uh, the ones that have uh, the uh, studios, they're much better sound quality. Well, they're not. They're actually the same drivers as the studios. They just have noise canceling, which makes it much better quality, in my opinion. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more and check out my latest giveaway. It's uh, of the Beats by Dre Tours, which is another line in this uh, in this series. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment below.